So, good afternoon. Uh, another calculation that I'm going to do for today is gradient. It's gradient. Obviously, when you talk about the gradient, you're looking at the steepness or the gentleness of the slope. That's basically what we are concerned with when we are calculating or when we are talking about gradient, the steepness or the gentleness of the slope. So, the first thing that you need to be aware of whenever you're calculating gradient, you're supposed to know a formula. How do you calculate your gradient? I'm going to use my G to stand for gradient. So, how you calculate your gradient is equal to vertical interval over the horizontal equivalent or the horizontal distance. What do we mean by that? When we talk about the vertical interval, basically we are looking at the difference in height between two control heights or two given points. It can be a spot height, it can be a tree beacon. So, that's how we get our vertical interval. Okay? Then uh, our horizontal equivalent is the horizontal equivalent HE then HD horizontal distance. The same way we multiply, we calculate our distance, we say net distance multiplied by scale. This is how we calculate our HD and also our HD. Okay, so I'm going to use an example from this map. I'm going to use an example from this map. I'm going to calculate the gradient uh, between two spot heights. Uh, the spot right side that I have here, I'm going to calculate the gradient between the two spot heights here. I'm going to use uh, spot height, uh, I'll rub off here, okay? I'm going to use two spot heights. I've got spot height um, one, 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 eight in block A2. This is my block A2. This is one, one, eight in block this is 1118 one, one, in block A2. You can see A2. And uh, what else do I have? I'm also going to get uh, the other spot height there. Which one can I use? That is very close. I'll use 1159. One, I'll use 1159 one, in block A1. 1159 one, one, in block A1. A1. You can see here 1159. So I'll go back to my formula. The formula said the vertical interval. Of course, I'm going to consider the difference in height between my spot heights. Okay, which one is the largest one? 1159 one, minus 118. One, okay, remember all these are in meters. Let me just write them correctly. Okay, minus 1118. One, one, this is in meters over my horizontal equivalent. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure the distance, map distance. Remember, I said my HD, HD, I'll calculate it as map distance multiplied by scale. That's how I calculate my HD or horizontal equivalent, which means I'm calculating the distance the same way. So I'm going to consider the distance between 1159 and uh, spot height 1118 in block A2. You can see from the map is somewhere around, I would say, 3.4. I would say some around 3.4 centimeters. So I'm going to say 3.4 centimeters. Uh, obviously, I'm multiplied by the scale. What scale am I using? This is in meters, which means I'm going to use 500 meters. I'm going to calculate with what? 500 meters. So if I subtract now um, 1159, 1159, Minus one 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 eight. What do I get? You can see one one five nine minus one one eight. You can see with what I have there, uh, one thousand one hundred and fifty nine minus one thousand one hundred and eighteen. I've got something like forty one meters. That is the difference. Let me do it again. One one five nine minus one 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 eight. What do I get? Forty one. So it means my VE now is 41 meters. Okay, I'm going to calculate now my horizontal equivalent, which is 3.4 multiplied by, I want the unit of measurement to be the same, so I'm going to use 500 meters by 500 meters. What do I get? 1,700. I'm going to get what? 1,700 meters. So I've got 41 meters over 1,700 meters. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to divide both by the vertical interval, divided both by the vertical interval, or I divide by the numerator. Which means if I say 41 meters 
divided by 41 meters. Here I'm going to say divide both the numerator and the denominator by uh, the, 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 the uh, vertical interval, which is also by 41 meters. So I'm going to get 41 divided by 41, I'll get 1. Then 1,700, 1,700 divided by 41. What is the answer? I'm going to get 41.46. Okay? I'll say 41.46. I'm going to convert it or I leave it like that. Remember, we have divided here. We have got 1. We have divided here. That's how we got the 41.46. But however, you do not leave it like this. You do not leave it like that. So the next thing that you're going to do, this is a fraction, but you leave it as a ratio, which means your answer is going to be 1 is to 41.46. This is going to be your answer. You don't write any unit of measurement. This is the relationship between your horizontal equivalent and your distance, <clears throat> which means for every ascent of 1 centimeters, you move a distance horizontally of 41.46. So when you are interpreting your gradient, when you are interpreting your gradient, it is also very important for you to know that when <clears throat> it's less than 10, when it's less than 10, uh, when it's 10, between 10 to 15, and also when it's 15 plus. So when it's less than 10, we regard it as what is steep. When it's 10 to 15, it's just moderate. When it's more than 15, we say it's what is gentle. So this is how you comment on your gradient. So this is how you calculate your gradient. Obviously, you're supposed to know the formula V I over H E H D. Then you see how we have calculated, of course, up until you get to your answer. This is how you calculate your gradient. But what is important, what I want to emphasize is you have to take note, please, when you're calculating your H E. Include your unit of measurement. When you're calculating your HE, this is your VI, sorry. When you're calculating HE, include also the unit of measurement. After you've done that, this has got the unit of measurement. This has got the unit of measurement. I've also divided by my numerator, which is my VI. I've also divided by numerator, which is my VI as well. It's included. Then after that, I got this fraction. I cannot leave it as a fraction. I have to write it as a ratio, which is 1 is 2. 41.46. So it's the relationship between your vertical ascent and your movement in terms of your horizontal distance. So for every ascent of one centimeters, vertically you move a distance of 41.46 meters horizontally. That is how you interpret your gradient here now. This is how you interpret your gradient. If it's less than 10, it's steep. If it's 10 to 15 is moderate. If it's 15 plus, it's what is gentle. This is how you interpret your gradient. So that's how you calculate your gradient. Ta -da.